completely scared. <laughs> you should be. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Harleywood, welcome back. All right, if you don't know Tiberius, he is at my house. So Tiberius was doing some other stuff in the industry related um, uh, over in South Carolina, right? Mm -hmm. You were over in South Carolina, came, stayed with me last night. And if you are not familiar with his channel, I'm gonna put a link in the description below. Fellow gun tuber creates a lot of really fun content. In fact, I enjoy your Instagram probably as much as anything else. Thank like you. you do a lot of cool content on there. So I'll put links to all of his social media in the description below. But we did a bunch of shooting today. Mm -hmm. We got to know each other a bunch last night before we you know, uh, went to bed. And we've come up with this little thing. We're gonna do 20 questions, all right? So <sighs> he got to ask me 20 questions. That content will be on his channel. And I'm gonna ask him 20 questions to help you get to know Tiberius and um, you know figure out what he's about. So yeah. you ready? No. So what do you think about being in the South so far, man? I love it that's down That's not here. the first question, no. by the way. Well, that's the question. You can no. get take off well, the list. I think I only have 19, so okay, let's go we're with good. it. Um, I love the South. I don't like it up north. I make the corny joke all the time, like God was going to drop me in South Carolina and he sneezed and I ended up in the Northeast. Like, I don't belong there weather. I don't belong there politically. It's beautiful. I just, yeah, I don't belong up north. Yeah. Well, we'll see what the future feels. I'm oh. telling you, man, people don't realize what a game changer that is. That ledge is sick. And the uh, Icarus grip. Uh. All right, let's get into this. All right. So I've got some, I, I think I got some good ones, man. I think you had some good ones, but I got some real good ones. So okay. we'll start off with an easy one. I like that. All right. If you had one gun to survive the apocalypse, what would it be and why an AR-15? Yeah, it'd be an AR-15. <laughs> would it really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I think I think between the, the capacity, the ease of use, um, how you can use it for so many different things. You, if you, you had to go hunting for self-defense, like. Um, my wife and, and my kids can pick can, up an AR-15 and shoot it, where a pistol, especially yeah. my kids, it's a lot tougher. Ammo's prevalent. You could probably find replacement Magazines, parts off of, yeah. a, off of a guy oh, that you yeah. have to put down. Yeah. A zombie. A zombie. Of course, a zombie. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, AR-15, definitely. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, I wouldn't mind a shotgun um, or a Glock, but AR-15 would be number one choice. Good choice, good choice. Now I'm looking for that ledge, though. I know. Yeah, you're going to miss it now, now that yeah. you've been exposed to it. All right, where did the Tiberius name come from? So it's a nickname, for those who don't know. My, my, I'm, my real name is not Tiberius. It's not, my real name is not nearly as cool. Um, so I had on my, on my name badge, uh, it said my first name and then my middle initial, which is a T, and somebody wanted to know what my middle name was and I wouldn't tell them what my middle name was, so they said, so they fine, made it up. we're gonna call you Tiberius. I said, go ahead, call me Tiberius. And nice, just kind of stuck. Just kind of stuck. Yeah. Now we're gonna get into a couple fun ones. Mm. Who is a better shooter, Grantham or Hickok 45? Oh, Grantham. <laughs> really? I love Hickok. That's a hard one, man. No, easy for me. Uh, Hickok's a great guy. He's a good target shooter. Um, I guess I didn't clarify shooter, right? Yeah, like, like if, if you're just plinking and target shooting Hickok, dude, yeah, great. Guy can put steel, can put it on steel it. Distance. Yeah, he can, but I think a random is a different type of shooter, and uh, like people do those corny games, like one is going to kill you and one's going to protect you. Yeah, who do you take with you? I want grand dub behind me, yeah. protecting me. Yeah, that's funny. Good choice. All right, you asked me this question, and I actually have the same question. All right. What's your current EDC? I'm gonna take it a level further though, not just your pistol, what is your loadout for EDC? Like what else do you carry? Sure, so in my back right pocket, I keep a tourniquet, it's usually a SWAT, because I never figured out a good way to carry a cat tourniquet, mm -hmm. and the cat doesn't work well on little limbs, like my dogs and my kids, and that's- And mine. Yep. That's kind of why I carry a tourniquet. Um, I have, I've been loving the Surefire uh, Stiletto Pro, and that's the taser version, right? <laughs> so tell the story. So I went through the airport and the, the girl at the airport thought this was a taser because of the two screws in the front of the flashlight. <laughs> and she called her supervisor over and they were like scared to push the buttons and see what it does. I'm like, it's, it's a flashlight, guys. <laughs> um, I love the cloud defensive uh, flashlights. They're great, they laser that's what, beams. That's what I carry. But it's just this, this, I put this in my pocket when I reviewed it and it was so flat, I just can't take it out. Um, I have a knife right now. I just have a SOG knife. I don't know something about it. I love, love, love. I have a wallet, I have my keys. Um, my gun is a, a piece. Is that, I'll, I'll get to this in one second. 
Icarus Precision Frame because Icarus Precision Grips are amazing. So we got into the, we, got, we shot mine. Yeah. Uh, I got a P365. I have a couple Icarus Precision Grips on my P320s and they are fantastic. It's worth every dollar. I also have a Parker Mountain Machine Comp on it and if you are gonna carry a small gun and you get that comp and that grip on it, I shoot that little gun just as well as I shoot a bigger like Glock yeah. 17. That's what I like about the X Macro. It has kind of that built-in comp yeah. on it. That's a fantastic gun. So this is my Lucky Rock. I've carried this every single day. You just picked that up back here. <laughs> Stop <talk>. it! <laughs> People on my channel know I've had this forever. <laughs> and I'm not a superstitious person. It's a really long story. I'll try to give you a really short version. So my little brother passed away. We went to get tattoos and I got his signature tattooed on me. Cool. My tattoo artist is this big Harley dude, tough guy, like, yeah. I hate, I hate right? those guys. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and he was walking down the beach the day before I went to get my tattoo and these two rocks are there and he said, something told me I had to pick up these rocks and give you these rocks. I'm like, what? Big Harley dude. Big Harley dude, right? And my, me and my sister were both going to get tattoos and he goes, I gotta give you these two rocks. I'm like, yeah, bro, he's losing his mind, right? I was like, so where'd you get the rocks? He got the rocks. It's tough for me to say this part. He got the rocks in the same exact location where my mom's ashes were spread. No way. Yeah. He's like, oh, I got him at Beaver Tail. It's a lighthouse up in Rhode Island. I'm like, that's intense. We're dude. at Beaver Tail. And he told me the position. I'm like, what? Yeah, I still can't. I still hard to tell the story. Wow. But he told me that, and I'm like, holy crap. So I took that as like a as a sign, you know what I mean? And uh, that's in my pocket every single day. Very cool story. Yeah. Damn, I didn't expect that. Yeah. Well done. Tiberius, what do you got there, bro? CMMG chambered in nine millimeter. Now people are gonna see this and be like, wait, nine millimeter, what's going on in there? Yeah, CMMG yeah. is sneaky. Always with that cool stuff, man. That sneaky, sneaky. Push, pull, let's run it. Yeah, okay, we're good. Carbine, and that's man. a standard M4 lower, dude, with just their magazine and a nine millimeter upper. Yeah, that's slick, man. Somebody that's, big brain that. Yeah, that's legit. Right on. Another fun question. Yeah. How many O lights do you have? <laughs> um, I have two O lights. I have uh, a handheld flashlight in my bag that I take on trips. If I lose it or it breaks, inexpensive light. And I have uh, Canix sent me a whole kit of a gun and all accessories, and it came with an O light. So I don't have an, uh, a problem with Olight. I know you, you're, you're- I love them, man. You love them. And I will say I've reviewed and had tons of them and none of them broke. I have done unholy things to them and none of them broke. Yeah. They, I, they, 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 are, they are durable. Yeah, well, and I, I've, I've said this on my channel. I've had a relationship, I've had a relationship with Olight before I had a relationship with Olight. Like yeah. I have literally been spending my own money on them since I was probably in my late 20s. They don't well, break. Well, be before I even had a channel. They don't so. break. Yeah, they're good. All right. You live in Rhode Island. What is the best and worst parts about Rhode Island? The worst part's easy, the snow and the cold weather. That's absolute worst. I, I said this to you last night, like six months out of the year, we don't like the cold and we don't go out. Like six months in the year, we're like in the house, antisocial, and it, it, and it, I just, I don't like it. I like the heat, I like the warmth. And um, best part? The best part is probably, it's a beautiful state. The food and the restaurants are amazing. Uh, like if anybody comes to Rhode Island, the food, the restaurants are amazing. So you're very coastal. I assume lots of good seafood. Yeah, the seafood. Where? Yeah, we, we live right near the ocean in Rhode Island, and it's absolutely beautiful. And uh, the seafood is great. I just I love it down there in the summer. I say it all the time. If I could cut out Rhode Island, float it down south, kick all the anti-gun people off as I'm floating it down, <laughs> and like attach it to like South Carolina. Done. Yeah. All right. Uh, what was your first gun, as well as what is the most recent gun you've purchased? Uh, my first gun was a Walther P22. So uh, we grew up with guns in the house, but my dad actually didn't teach me to shoot because I mentioned a little while ago, my mom passed away. So it was a little weird when that happened. I never learned to shoot. Wanted to buy a gun. I'm like, let me start with a 22 to kind of figure this stuff out. And uh, it was a good gun. It was, it was good. I saw your Who is Tiberius thing where you went through a little more detail. Yeah. That was a good video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th that was one that was produced by somebody else. I yeah. don't have that skill. Um, my most recent gun that I received uh, was a CMMG 
What's the new one, Descent? The Descent? Descent, I haven't uh, shot it yet, I just picked it up before I left. I don't even have a Descent, CMMG, ah. what's going on, man? Um, I didn't purchase that, they were nice enough to loan it to me. Uh, I haven't bought a gun in a while, I've been yeah. very lucky. Uh, I actually bought my P365X macro. Yeah, I, I wanted it that bad. Yeah, I don't remember the last gun I bought off the top of my head. Yeah. I don't remember. All right. Yeah. Tell me the funniest thing that's ever happened to you while filming. That might be a hard one. Oh man, funniest thing that ever happened to me while filming. Um, so I don't have one thing that I could say this happened, but I don't have a private range. Unfortunately, I have to shoot at a, at a public range. And my friends, all of my buddies shoot at the same range and they love messing with me. I have more footage I can't show <laughs> than I can show. So some of my buddies will light a firework and throw it over the berm where I'm shooting and I'm shooting all of a sudden, pop, 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 pop. Or um, a couple of my buddies, I'll keep this PG, their team like to come up behind me and pretend they're, mm -hmm. they're grinding on me. And I'm, I don't know they're behind me, I just, you know, and yeah. All the you need to start a blooper reel. There's your shorts content yeah. right there. You, there's some reels right they, there. They always like messing with me behind me. Next question. What was the first video you ever published? It was bad. It was bad. Don't go watch it. You won't follow me if you watch it. it I, the first two I remember. I don't remember. I don't remember one and two. The first ones I did. I wanted to do the things I was most familiar with. So I did the Neo Mag Sentry, not Sentry Strap. The Neo Mag, uh, the Spear Mag holder. The pocket the thing, clip the one. The pocket clip one. Dude, that was one of my earliest too. I carried it so long. I still carry one all the time, and I'm like, I'm super comfortable with this. And then there's a Walker's in-ear silencers. Mm. Um, I had a lot of luck with them and I was super familiar with them. I used them working out and at the range. So those are the two first videos I did because I was just so comfortable with the product. Nice, all right. It was bad though, man. That 365X macro on that um, Icarus grip, beautiful gun. Let's see how she runs. With the worst off the <laughs> Why did you start your channel? So, I started my YouTube channel, I told you this last night, in 2008. I shared my first video in 2020. It took me 12 years to get the courage up. Uh, I'm not a videographer, I'm not a photographer, to get the courage up to do it. And I finally got the, the guts up to do it a couple of years ago and I regret not starting it in 2008. Um, I, I started watching, you know, like some of the, the people who've been doing it for a while, the Hickoks, the Mr. Guns and Gear, Such, people have been doing it. Demolition Ranch, definitely. Mr. Guns and Gear. Some people say we might look like them. <laughs> I, I get that all the time. That, yeah. You know, I'm the I'm the better looking version. And what'd you call yourself? You're the I get comments constantly because we're both he's from Mass, I'm from Rhode Island, about you're the poor Mr. Mr. Guns and poor man's Mr. Guns and Gear, the Mr. Guns and Gear from Wish.com. That's my favorite. That's a the, good one. The mentally handicapped Mr. Guns and Gear. I'll keep it, I'll keep it nice. <laughs> and uh yeah, um, I, I always wanted to do it. I always thought I could do it. And uh, I just, I love, I love guns, so. Nice. All right, next question. What is your favorite industry event? Not SHOT Show. Right. Not shot show. <laughs> um, gun Con this year was awesome. The okay. Gun Collective puts on the Gun Con, and it's a unique mix of, you know, time. Uh, as, as somebody who works in the gun industry, I work for Roscoe Manufacturing. We have time with um, influencers on the range. We have time with just folks from Iowa, and it, it was a really nicely done event. Um, gun Con would definitely be up there. Uh, let me explain this. I like the NRA show. Not because it's but. the NRA show, but because I just like talking to people. That's why I'm in sales. I just, I love to chat with people. And if I get the chance to talk to a hundred thousand gun owners, man, yeah. and it's usually, again, it's down south and good people. And it's just, I think it's, it's in Indy this year. Yeah, Indy's okay. I don't love Indianapolis, but yeah. usually it's in like Texas and Florida and people make fun of my accent. And you know, it's, yeah. it's, I, I like it because I get to talk to a hundred thousand good folk. Cool. That's what. Uh, here's a good question. How do you feel about the current 2A trends? Like how, how the 2A is trending right now? Scary. 
scary for a lot of different reasons. It makes me cringe. Um, I hate, well, first the anti-gun push and movement. I, I, it, it, it bugs me, I, I just, it drives me nuts that the people, the people think we're better off without them. It just, it blows my mind. Yeah. And it's very hard to, to, I try, I always try to stay calm and have conversations with people, but it's very hard to change people's opinions. Yeah. Um, I hate in the gun industry in general, um, alpha males, alpha dudes, you know, think they're, they try to put you down. Like when I get nasty comments on my channel, it's like, go away. Yeah. I, don't, I don't put up with that. You know what I mean? Like, I'm all about positivity and bringing people up. Like, I love helping other people. Like, I'm helping um, my friend's son right now wants to start a YouTube channel. And on my way out here, I, I drove like three hours and I spent like two hours on the phone with him because he has no idea how to start a channel. Yeah. I love that. That made me feel so good. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I, I like to build, See, I, build people up. I, I might take a different approach on that, uh, the answer to that question. I. I'm honestly a little bit encouraged by the trends in the 2A industry right now. And here's here's what I'm getting at. Like, if you look at a lot of the stuff that's making its way up to the Supreme Court, mm. we're winning some battles lately, True. you know? And so while that doesn't mean we can rest on our laurels, right? Like, I, I'm like, wow, we're actually putting some points on the board, True. you know? True. So I guess lately it, up in Rhode Island, we've had so many uh, anti-gun laws passed yeah. that um, in the, lot, the one this past year was a 10 round magazine ban and that was just so deflating. Yeah. So deflating. God, I can't, if they did that here, it might be time to go somewhere else. Yeah. All right, we got that staccato P. Unfortunately, we got a <laughs> compliant version here for uh, whatever purposes. All right, next, what do you do for fun? Shoot guns. Right. Um, no, our big, we're beach folks, we're beach bums. I will never go on a vacation where there's not a beach and I can't go sit on the beach. That's not my idea of a vacation. Really? I wear beach people. Chilling oh. on the beach. Guns, beach, uh, paddle boarding, stand up, stand up paddle boarding, right? Um, even my kids, my, my son's nine, he's been doing it for like five years. Yeah. So, this next question, I think we already answered it, but I was I was hoping to get you with this one. Who's better looking, you or Mr. Guns and Gear? <laughs> well, I'm clearly better looking than Mr. Guns and Gear. Clearly. And so yeah, I think we already hit that one. Yeah. But actually, my wife said when I was coming to do a video with you, she's like, he kind of looks like you. Yeah, man. She's like, do you only do videos with bald people with bears? <laughs> All right, who is your favorite non-gun content creator? I don't know if he's my favorite, but the one, well, I have a couple, I have a couple if you don't mind. Um, Mr. Beast, I don't like the type of stuff he makes, but the, the, the brand that he has built is just amazing. And mm -hmm. how he does in his videos, and my kids watch him, and I uh, gain inspiration by what he's built. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the other one is I watch, there's several fitness people I watch, because I'm trying to get my old butt in shape, and um, Jeff Nippard is his name. He takes like a really scientific approach extremely opposite to what I do with my channel. Like I don't do as much research as I should sometimes. And he's like going through a hundred page studies to find out what chest exercise is best for you. You know what I mean? So okay. I like the different contrast of styles. Oh, awesome. All right. Yeah, there's something going on. <laughs> um, did you ever have a 40? And oh. why do you think 40 didn't survive? So you're talking about 40 ounce drinks? No, uh, 40 cal. Oh, I'm thinking 40. Come on, man, back, so, to, back to the gun world. So we, we used to play a game, Edward 40. But hands. what was your favorite 40 ounce drink? Uh, so old English? A, a Colt 45 double malt, okay? <laughs> we play a game, Edward 40 hands. You tap, two, you take two 40s to your hands. Oh yeah. And you have to drink them before you pee your pants. <laughs> and yeah, that was All right, game. but 40 cal. 40 cal. So um, I had a Smith & Wesson m and and 40 for uh, work. Um, my previous job, we, we, I worked for a light company and we tested lights uh, on 40 because they beat up, beat up the lights, okay. you know? And we tested and I probably shot more 40 than anyone in the world. We're talking tens of thousands of rounds every single year. And uh, it, actually, it actually messed up, gave me tendonitis. Really? Yeah, yeah, even to this day, it's just, it's just Ooh, not what right. What a good question, so I didn't even 40. know that. <laughs> yeah, I can't So why do you it. think it didn't survive? I think as nine millimeter has uh, improved ballistically, especially the defensive ammo, the amount of the extra rounds you get in the magazine offsets yeah. the, the the stopping power of 40 Smith yeah. and Wesson. You know, my my boss made a good point of 
he can only, only he made it like a year ago when I was carrying more than 10 rounds because I would never break the law. He said, if I can only carry 10 rounds, I want to carry as much, as, as potent 10 rounds as possible. That's why he carries 40. So I have another take on that. Um, That's why I carry 10 now. When my dad was a cop in California, there was a shooting. And at the time, the cops all carried 45s. Mm -hmm. And the chief of police was doing a press release about the shooting. And a reporter asked him, 45 seems like overkill. Why do you let your officers carry 45? And his response is because they don't make a 46. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> like, what a good answer. Yeah. Um, and my, mine would be like, well, because a bazooka doesn't fit in a holster. Yeah. You know? Here we go. You know if it's yep. All right, if you could change one gun law, either locally or federally, what would it be? Man, my first thought went to NFA. Absolutely. Quick though, NFA. Yeah. Especially being in Rhode Island, there is no NFA. So getting rid of NFA would be my first thought. Now when you say there is no NFA, I wanna make sure people understand this because you told me this last night. Means you, it doesn't mean the NFA doesn't exist in Rhode Island. <laughs> no, the other way around. It's the other way around. You can't yeah. own anything NFA. In so no suppressors, no full auto, no SBRs. no SBRs. If it's on the NFA list, it's completely illegal. And that's just wrong, especially suppressors. Yeah, stupid. Like, I can swallow not having SBRs as long as we have braces, but not having SBRs is just ridiculous. Yeah, um, yeah, I, that's a really tough question. Um, all all gun laws? Can I just say all? Yeah. All of them? <laughs> yeah. yeah, all gun laws are an infringement, right? Okay, we're almost there, man. <laughs> Current favorite rifle that you own? Um, my buddy let me borrow his Triarch AR-15 and he has the nicest setup ever. He has a Wilcox Raid on it. He has a nice uh, Arasaka light. He has a Night Force optic. He has an Aimpoint T2 piggybacked on top. I'm talking this setup is probably between 12 and 14 grand. Mm -hmm. And nice enough to, hey, I'm gonna be away for the entire month of March. Do you wanna borrow this and do some videos on it? I'm like, yeah, Hell yeah. such a nice dude. So that gun shoots and it's, because it has all that stuff on it, it's like, doesn't move. Yeah. It's like shooting a 22 and, uh, Triac makes a pretty nice rifle. All right, good answer. All right, last one. All right, CMMG Banshee chambered in 762 by 39 with the Q Trash Panda? That's right. Yeah. One of the best guns ever made right there, oh, yeah. If you could only watch one YouTube channel for the rest of your life, would it be Nut and Fancy or Sooch? <laughs> Neither one, sorry guys. It'd be Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, bullshit. No, but seriously, if you could only watch one YouTube channel for the rest of your life, that was my question, is nothing fancy or suits, but who would you pick? Oh my goodness. Um, my God, that's so hard. Right? Um, I'm gonna say Mr. Guns and Gear, believe it or not, um, because I like to stay up on what's new and what's coming out. And he was my go-to before I had my own channel. Yeah. When something new came out, let's see. See what he thinks about I it. I wanna not only see what he thinks about it, but I don't wanna sit there and read a, a spec sheet. I'd rather watch somebody shoot it and, yeah. and learn the features of it. Um, so yeah, I'd have to say. For me, Mike. it would have to be Grand, the other Mike, ever since he got Micah on his channel and like some of so the banter funny. and the dialogue, like those guys cracked me up. So My, I, Them in person, they're nuts. Micah yeah. is so funny. Yeah, so that would be mine. Well, that's it, man. You survived. Well done. It wasn't as bad as I thought. Yeah, so not too bad. So if you want to see his interview of me, go check out Tiberius on his channel. Um, we'll try to coordinate when these two videos go live. Maybe we'll publish them at the same time once you get back yeah. home, get settled. So that's it, guys. Go check them out. There's links in the description below. Thanks for joining, bro. Appreciate Thanks, it, man. Thanks Appreciate for the visit. It. Lots more content to come. Give me a like down below. Make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you in the next one.